So I want to show you guys something I discovered within my first week of Minecraft. How to auto run. A little bit of a glitch, but first I just wanted to give you a look at how far I've come with my hole. You guys remember seeing it like this, and this is what it's like now. Um, it's a bit, I don't know, the hole's, the hole's a little bit bigger. Oh, I have pigs down there. Just a little bit, but that's not what we're looking at right now. Okay, so as I've been excavating this, I've found it really kind of tiresome just to even hold the forward key. So I've gotten back into the habit of auto-running, and auto-running is a glitch that has always been in Minecraft to the best of my knowledge. And you can auto-run forward, you can auto-run backwards, you can auto-run to the side, but I can't seem to make it go to a diagonal. Now to auto-run, you take your cursor and you put it where it is. And see, I want to go between my chests here. You very quickly open up your inventory and the direction you want to go in that order. So inventory forward. Now you see me moving forward with my inventory up, which is kind of nice because I can move stuff around, but you're actually traveling forward. Now I've hit the inventory key again, and I'm still moving forward. I'm just, I just have my hand on the mouse right now. I'm still moving. To stop, I can actually hold the back key. Can't actually go backwards. But if I release it, I still go forward. Now I can still move to the side, strafe at a diagonal. I can actually move at a perfect uh, straight, at a perfect 90 degrees if I hold the back key and the sides. But if I hit, if I even tap the forward key, I'll stop. I mean, if you end up going forward and you hold down the forward key, nothing changes. I'm holding it down right now, you wouldn't know. But if you release it, you stop. The other thing that gets you to stop once you're moving forward is once you exit out of your inventory, if you open your inventory up again, you'll stop. Now, you can actually get around this if you auto run. And if you're lucky, you can actually hit the same key, con uh, the same key combination and open it up a second time. Which is kind of useful because I do actually a lot of walking as I do this because my elevator is over there. I have another one over here, but it's really slow. And I can move stuff around and check to see if I need to uh, drop some stuff off in my chests here. And then right up, auto run over. And it actually, when I move around as much as I do uh, while making this, just not having my hand on the keyboard even 30% of the time really, really helps me. But really, that's that's all there is to it. If you find that you're having difficulty getting it to work, first make sure that you're hitting your inventory key first before you hit the forward key. And if you hit them really, really quick, you might find that you're actually hitting your forward key first. And so make a conscious note of hitting your inventory key first. And I don't think you can actually do it too quick if you do it in the right order. But there has to be like within like a tenth of a second between them. The other thing that I've noticed is that if you open up, say, your crafting bench and hit forward at the same time, you can take your crafting bench with you to a certain extent. If you move out of range of the crafting bench, you no longer you can no longer um, hit it. But here's a crafting bench, and right-click and hitting forward at the same time will actually take me forward. So watch out for that. Same thing's true with chests. And the chests actually have a range on them. Um, but that's pretty much the entirety of how to auto run. 
to you guys later. Okay, starting recording now. It broke on me. It died. Why, why did it do that? Damn it, Minecraft. Oh, now it's recording. Oh, what the crap.